Carolina Kitchen today, a lighter idea for impressing your holiday guests. This one gives you a chance to learn the secrets for an easy citrus sauce to go over some fresh fish. Welcome into the Carolina Kitchen. Vicki Murphy with Inland Seafood is back with us, and we are glad to have you. Thank you so much. It's great to be back with you. And it's, I have an exciting new product. I was going to say, this is something I actually haven't heard of. What is this? That's exactly right. It's the first time. You know, I've been doing this show for years. This is the first time I've prepared redfish on the show. And the reason for that is that it is now a farm-raised fish. It's raised out in the open ocean. 18 miles off the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, in the Gulf of Mexico. They are grown in huge suspended floating cages. They're t it's a very sustainable fishery, and it's fed an exceptional diet. Each fish has a, is traceable gill tags from being born to be going onto your table. It's wow. unbelievable. Okay, it looks like a beautiful <laughs> fish, too. Yes, it is. It's, look how nice and and lovely sweet this fish looks it's just a beautiful fish that you can get it skin on or skin off i like to do it with skin on i'm today preparing a redfish piccata which is one of my favorite dishes to prepare you want to start with this with the flesh side down so that you are actually searing it and you're going to seal the juices in this way it's in a very hot pan it's, I call it a medium high heat. Okay. And you can see I'm just going to sear it and then I'll turn it over. And this is going to take three to four minutes on each side. And then when I turn it over, I'll also be seasoning it with a little bit of salt and pepper. That's all. This that's is it. one tablespoon of butter with a drop of olive oil. Keep it from burning. And that's all we're doing here. Okay. Okay. And then, just so you'll know, when you get finished uh, with the fish and remove it to a platter, then leave the juices in the pan, add two tablespoons of butter. To that, you'll add two tablespoons of capers along with a tablespoon of lemon zest and then a tablespoon of lemon juice. Wow, it smells great. So you can see just how easy this recipe is and see how it makes its own little brown butter sauce with capers, lemon juice, and that lemon zest is very important. Mm. And then once the fish is totally cooked, you simply put it onto a platter, pour the sauce over, easy, easy, easy. And these are ingredients that most people keep in their, in right. their refrigerator very simple or pantry. Ingredients. That's exactly right, and it's available now at Earth Fair and at Publix. It's a wonderful uh, fish. Let's get you guys really the recipe one. at home. Go to our website, wls.com. Click on the Carolina Kitchen link, that is the fastest way, or you can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 110 Technology Drive, Asheville, 28803, and be sure to check us out on Pinterest so you can find all the Carolina Kitchen recipes. Look at that. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. And that's what's cooking in the Carolina Kitchen.